hi guys welcome back to my channel so this is my halloween look this is going to be a halloween look um yeah my first one on my channel excited so let's just get into it so i brushed my brows up and then i'm gonna take a little bit of the school glue and it makes it easier to shape i like it actually and i am using a dark dark a black i'm using a black brow pencil because i wanted just a little bit darker than normal i do like my brows temporarily dark but we're gonna we want black <laughs> and that was the pencil by maybelline the ultra slim and right here i'm just taking the tattoo brow gel from maybelline as well and just kind of like put, brushing it through my hair kind of setting it in place so that it'll stay i like this it gets like it like doesn't move it won't like transfer anything i'm just um cleaning up under my brows you know just a little bit yeah that's what i'm doing i feel like this is an easy look to do um because you know if people are i know like it's going to be different obviously from what halloween usually is so most people if they are probably going to something it's going to be very intimate very small so if you just want to participate um in the halloween i feel like this was really good because it was really inexpensive without you know like breaking the bank and still look like something like you just didn't think of it last minute even though it it was last minute <laughs> because it's so cute um but here i'm going in with the uh the white cream face paint from a company on amazon it is similar to the uh maker forever palette this is just way cheaper. This was like $7.99 or something or $8.99. And I'm just taking it and just outlining the my face socket, like the socket of my eye. The face socket. The socket of my eye. This was really easy. So easy. And then I'm just and I'm just painting the rest. I actually would prefer a white um matte liner versus the paint because it was so creamy. Um, it's a little, it's a little annoying to deal with, but I would prefer, um, if you guys to try this look to do like a white matte liner, liquid liner. Yeah. Not saying anything was wrong with this, but yeah, it was just a really, really creamy. Yeah. I think, uh, I could not find the one I really wanted to use was by NYX. It was their Epic white liner. I believe that what it was called. Um, and I couldn't find it. I didn't know where it, where it was and I wanted to hurry up and record this. So, I mean, it was nothing wrong with this because it, I mean, it's just setting it. It was just so creamy and like moving it. Where I feel as though the silver liner would have just been better. The, the matte, the white matte liner would have been better, but it worked out fine. And you know what? This was from Amazon. So if it's like last minute, you can just like go to like a cvs and get you the nyx liner because that was the one that i preferred to have used um and that might even be better <laughs> because it's right in stores and you don't have to like do no overnight shipping but but it was easy to actually manipulate and kind of get it to move like how i wanted to so that was a plus but yeah i'm just filling it in that's all i'm doing it so i was kind of figuring out what i want to do the first time i did it i did like too many spots and it was giving me cow look so i turned off the camera wiped it off and redid it and i like the way this looks so i did it off camera I did one eye off camera and i'm just showing you how i did the other eye um this was the eye that i wiped off and it do over because it was looking more like a cow and more than a dalmatian i feel like dalmatian spots are a little bit circle and a little bit more rounder versus a cow they're very wide and big and they're not super perfect and i'm using my maybelline superstay foundation in the shade 360 mocha and it's a foundation brush and i just basically put my foundation on trying to avoid my eyes jeez 
I feel like I, I did my eyes first because I feel like the white on top of the makeup, it would have made it look muddy. On top of the foundation, it would have looked muddy and it wouldn't look right. That's why I opted to do my eyes first, which I still would, I would do again. Like, that's just how I would put it on. Because I feel like it would look muddy if you did the foundation first. It just wouldn't look right. And I'm going to set my face with the um, Allure Marcier setting powder in deep. Just all over my face. And I'm going to highlight to give me like some light underneath my face. And I am using the CoverGirl concealer. I believe in honey. It'll be listed below. I'm just like carefully blending this out. This looks so good though. It looks so good on camera. I was loving the way it was blending, blending out anyway. And I was... I wanted like a flat brush to kind of blend it out so I wouldn't mess up all that hard work. <laughs> so I'm going to just not talk anymore and just let you watch the rest of the video. It's pretty just me regular, just doing regular makeup after this. Um, the eye look was definitely like the focus point in this tutorial. So now I'm going to just turn the music up and let you guys watch <laughs> and any other products that i'm using i will list them down below until i get to the end and i'll come back towards the end of the video okay
So this is the final look off camera. I add my lashes. I changed my shirt. I also changed my top lip, made it a little darker. So yeah, this was so fun to do and easy. I hope you guys like it. Please comment, like, and subscribe to my channel. Until next time, thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs>